It's time for Orchard Skills. On September 29th, 2020, Sipka, a core developer of the Orchard Core team, demonstrated Blazing Orchard. Blazing Orchard is a modular application framework that turns your Blazor application into a content management system by leveraging the Orchard Core CMS framework. Today on Orchard Skills, we'll be creating a Blazor WebAssembly OpenID Connect authorization code flow application using Blazing Orchard. Please stay with us and we'll get started. <music> Welcome back. Open up your favorite browser and head over to https slash github slash com slash blazing orchard. And here you'll notice two repositories, blazing orchard .orchard core module. This repository contains the orchard core CMS server application and blazing dash orchard. This repository contains the blazing orchard framework. Let's click on blazing orchard, orchard core module, and let's select open with github desktop let's click on clone let's head back and go to the blazing orchard open with github desktop open github desktop exe and let's go ahead and click on clone okay great now let's bring up Visual Studio, but in this case, we'll need the preview version of Visual Studio. So let's bring up Blazing Orchard Solution, right click on samples, and let's add a new project. And let's search for Blazor. We want to select a Blazor app, call this Blazor OIDC, create. And then in here, what you want is we'll select the Blazor WebAssembly application. Okay, make sure you select .NET 5.0, go into and change your individual user accounts authentication, make sure it's at individual user accounts, uh, make sure that ASP.NET Core hosted is not selected, and you can go ahead and select progressive web application, hit create. Okay, great. So the first thing we want to do is go into www root and go into our app settings, and here we want to change our app settings. So one of the app settings that we need to do is create an Orchard app setting to specify the server URL. And the other one, we want to select our OpenID Connect setting. So we'll call that OIDC. So here you can see the Orchard. We'll set that the Orchard server URL to HTTPS localhost 44300. And then we'll set our OIDC settings authority, which will be localhost 44300. Our client ID will be CodeFlow client ID. Use Pixie will be true. Default scopes will be API. Metadata address will be the local host well-known OpenID configuration. Redirect URI will be the local host slash authentication slash login callback. Post logout redirect URI will be local host slash authentication slash logout dash callback and then for the response type which is for code flow authorization will be code now what we want to do is copy the components directory from the samples blazing orchard dot web dot application over to our new blazor oidc blazor web assembly application copy the components directory here do a copy and then a paste here and that will copy all the components over Next, we want to go to our pages folder here, and we don't need counter.razor or fetch data.razor or index.razor. Select all of these, right click, and hit delete, and say OK. Let's right click on page and add razor component. Let's call it content page.razor and hit add. And in the content page.razor, we want to set the page to a slash and then page slash pages slash asterisk slug and then content item handle equals handle and our code with parameter string slug which is the property get and set and then our handle which will be slug slug question question mark home now let's go to the shared folder and let's go ahead and delete the survey prompt dot razor because that's already in the components 
Okay. Now let's head over to the Blazor OIDC, add these unsafe block. Let's add the system.net.http.json package and also the Microsoft extension.caching.memory. And let's add the group item, which will be the blazing orchard.project and the blazing orchard.menu.project. So we'll include those. Now let's head down to the program. So here we want to add the blazing orchard extensions and Microsoft extensions dot caching memory and then blazing orchard set up our HTTP client and here we'll specify localhost 44300 for the authorized URLs and then we want to add scope open ID connect profile and API do a builder dot services add scope and then we want to specify the HTTP client factory create client which is the client here and then also we want to do an add OIDC authentication go ahead and bind the OIDC parameters and add a singleton to iMemory memory cache add singleton HTTP encoder add singleton iConfiguration builder configuration dot add blazing orchard dot add module modules get assembly and then do a build run async and then we want to define a class default HTML encoder where we specify override unsafe init unsafe bool override bool and override int now let's go ahead and bring up the blazing orchard server orchard core CMS web application run the application hit the green little play triangle button select our site name which will be orchard core and for the recipe let's make sure that we select blazing orchard and then we can enter in our credentials and our password confirm our password and then hit the finish setup button okay and so here you have a home page we have a blog page we have a counter page an about page contact page and a search page and we can do it explore and do a search and then you can see it finds our blog post go ahead and log in go to sales and hit log in and if we go select sales and go to the dashboard and go into security open id connect into management applications and let's go ahead and select the authorization code flow we'll edit that and you can see that our client id is set to code flow client id display name authorization code flow type is a public client and then our flows is our allow authorization code flow and then we have our redirect uris which is localhost authentication slash login callback and our post logout redirect uri is set to localhost authentication slash logout dash callback and our Consent time is explicit consent. Okay, great. Go back to the main application. Now let's bring up Visual Studio, the preview version that has the Blazor OIDC loaded and hit the green triangle play button. And remember, we have the Orchard Core CMS web server running in the background. Okay, you see that our application is running here. So let me bring this up a little bigger here. And you can see that we have our home page, our blog page, our counter page and we can click the button and our counter works we have our about page here and we also have our contact page here and our search page which is not implemented yet some of these features are not implemented and hopefully we'll get those implemented soon so you'll notice here we have a login so let's go ahead and click on the login and we're redirected back to the server let's go ahead and enter our credentials and hit the login button and you'll notice here that we get a message authorization do you want to grant authorization code flow access to your data scopes requested open id profile and api and let's go ahead and select yes and then we're redirected back to our blazor WebAssembly application and you'll notice here that we're now we're authenticated and so if we wanted to we could go ahead and get our access token or set a set a page up where that it only needs authorization so we can put a guard there on the page and you cannot access a page unless you're authenticated and so now let's go ahead and log out so we'll hit the log out button and then we redirect it back to the server and it says are you sure you want to log out and let's go yes and there you go now we're not authenticated anymore so there we have it we have open idc connect code flow authorization integrated into a blazing orchard application 
Now to recap, we cloned the Blazing Orchard repositories. We created an OIDC Blazor web assembly application using the pre-release version of Visual Studio. We integrated the Blazing Orchard framework by copying the components folder, modifying the pages, and program.cs. We ran both the Orchard Core CMS server web application and the Blazor OIDC WebAssembly application. We displayed the contents of our CMS pages in the Blazor Web Assembly application. We showed how we could get authenticated by logging using the authorization code flow. We showed the authorization slash authentication login status. And finally, we showed logging out, thus revoking our authentication slash authorization. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.